Hello. Yeah, some questions on 11C, how to find B in the equation, the logistic equation. So let's do that real quick today. So we have here, anyone's going to have a little slightly different problem. What we have here is a area, a similar area that has care capacity of 140 boxes. Okay. So we're going to have a yeah, carrying capacity of 140. So somewhere in here, we're going to fit a curve. It looks something like that. Okay. And this point here is basically going to be a value of 70 at some given time. And what do we get? What were we given? Uh, we're given capacity would be 70 in 36 years. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the equation is y equals a over 1 plus you know, x over c to the b, where a is your carrying capacity, your C is basically your half carrying capacity, ah, shoot, is your half carrying capacity, that'd be um, 70, I'm, actually C is, a, stop that, C is the time of your half carrying capacity. So that would be 36. Okay. So 36 years to get to 70. Now let's, let's see what that works. I put, so I put in 36 for C. We're in 36 for, for, for um, C, and I look at year 36, which is to me, I use T up here. So 36 over 36 is 1. When, when you raise any power other than 0 is 1. Actually, when 0 is also 1. Any power is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 130 over 2 is, is 70. That should be 40. All right. The question is, get this. What, how do we get this B though? Now we're given a second point here. All right. We also know the fox was said to reach 14 in 18 years. So at 18 years, it was known to reach a total of 40, 14. Okay. So that's that's the key we got to use. We need to find a B that at x equals 18 18 years that y is 14. now we do there's a way of doing that mathematically but using a hint here um well let's, let's finish up what's what's the y value of the inflection point the y value would be 1736 or y is quantity so it'd be 70. Um, use the information given in the problem to the x value of the inflection point. Where well, x would be the time when quantity is half of, of the um, logistic, the sustaining value, 36. All right. Uh, use the information given, a was 140. Value for c is the time to reach one half the logistic the sustaining capacity so that have been 36 okay all right so then using the values of a and c for this population find the value of b hit use the link to the spreadsheet to use the interactive graph all right so let's go to here 
useful for Microsoft Excel, fine. Oh well, give it time. Lido. Do 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 do. Hi, here we go. They were editing. Ed editing. All right, so here we Yowza. I no idea. So let's see. Let's plug what we have. I know that A was 140 and C was 36. So A was 140. So I'm just going to toggle down to 140. C was 36. Okay. So at 36, I'm at 70. Here's my inflection point. Now I got to play with B. Notice how it's changing the curve around the inflection point. So we have another point here. We have, the point is. What's the point? Uh, inflection point. I'm trying to find my. Um, okay. Was when x is 18, y is 14. Okay. So when x is 18, y is 14. So it's somewhere down, somewhere down here. Somewhere down here is it's going to be a point. Be 14 and 18. So nothing else. We can do that. Eyeball it. Or let's add a point. Let's add the point 14, 18. I also want to, I don't like this. I'm going to go and maybe. Here we go. Let's stretch this out. Let's go to. Let's go to 150 for the maximum. Okay, and we make this guy a little bigger. Bigger, bigger is better. All right, now if you scroll over here, and we have a bunch of data that was made, used to make the graph. Now I'm going to add a, a column called called extra point. And of course, this would be the x and the y. And what were the numbers again? Ah, uh, rubbish. When x is 18, y is 14. So when x is 18, what happened? Touch the screen. 18, y is 14. And I'm you right now, there's a little problem going on with the program here. So I just doubled it. All right. So let's add an extra point. Remember, take the plot area, click on it, select data, add data. That's so for series name, just extra point for my X, those two datas. Remember, always delete that guy. Why? Just I don't know, it just seems to work better that way. Okay. Okay. Now we should have an extra point on here. Let's see. Maybe we're just covering it up. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's small, but it's there. Let's make it a little bigger. Let's click on it. Uh, let's go. Here we go. We want to enhance the marker. Marker option. And let's just make it bigger. And there we go. All right. So now let's just play with this B term. Wrong way. Until the line goes through it. Okay. 
It looks like minus 3.2 works. Let's give it a try. Let's try minus 3.2. And it worked. Yeehaw. I'm hot. Okay. Uh, estimated number of foxes in the area in 59 years. In 59, there should be about. Okay, 59 is about 60. Now, actually, let's just, do, let's just do the equation for that one. Um, let's go to new page. How do we do that? Okay. And let's just send the page. All right, so we know B is minus 3.2. So let's see why. Y equals 140 over 1 plus uh, 59 years. Over minus 3.2. Get my calculator out. We're going to quick calculate 1 plus parentheses 59 divided by 36 raised to the negative 3.2. All right, that's 1.205. 140. Divided by that was 116.1. Denying, does that does that look to be about 100? Well, oh, shoot, 9.5, 116.6. Okay, that's pretty good. 116.1. And sixteen. See the answer is acceptable. Well done. Holy man, these problems never end, do they? Uh, was the annual increase in number of foxes in this area greater from eighteen to nineteen years, or from seventy-two to seventy-three years? It was an annual increase. Okay. Now this is curve is steep, so a lot of inc annual increase in curves coming off. Annual increasing is decreasing. Um, some fastest growth, what flex point pop gets to fall? Uh, was no, no, uh, 18 and by halfway, the logistic curve experienced some of its fastest growth. Well, at the inflection curve, growth slows dramatically. Well, after inflection, uh, I'm gonna go with this one because <clears throat> it's saying well after. <clears throat> Here's your inflection curve here, well after is up here. And let's see that that's correct. And it worked. All right. So wait, this is what you can use the logistic, logistic curve for. For the next problem, the same thing. You can use the exact, you can use this curve also for the next problem. Um, similarly, it looks like a person and just 220 milligrams of medication. So that means we can boost, uh-oh. You bump this guy up. Bump this guy to 220. Now it's interactive, everything changes with it. Two twenty. Uh, let's see. Person after thirty-three minutes, there are one hundred and ten milligrams. So that means your match is two twenty. You're halfway there in thirty-three minutes. So that's your that that would be your C. Okay. 
And here we go. No idea what just happened there. All right. And then they're going to find the B in this one. <clears throat> Eventually, after you do all the same questions again, we know after 66 minutes, there's 210 milligrams of medication. So in 66, there's 210. So let's do something similar. Ah. Gonna call it extra point two. Um, 66. I don't know why I do two on this one, but you just do. Uh, 210 milligrams. It just works. Again, why? I don't know. So similarly, we'll add an extra point. Right click, select data, add. Go back over the data we have there. Extra point two. There's my X. Delete that. Here's my Y. Okay, okay. And you just see the date, the dot there. I don't know why it's small. But let's go again and make it bigger. And not that big. Okay. And then we just play with B. Wrong way. That goes about halfway through it. Uh, well, with minus 4.4 for this guy. Hey, it's the other guy also. Two for one. A two for one for this guy. Let's see that works. Uh, let's see. A I know was uh, 220. Okay, I worked through to get to it. Uh, C was 33. Uh, value for B we got was minus 4.4 off the graph. And it worked. Now it's just some math going on. So that's a way of doing it. There's a way of doing it algebraically, which you were not shown. Um, it could be solved, this could have been solved algebraically also. Um, but you, we, we had not talked about logarithms or using logarithms to um, solve for exponentials. So I'm not going to do it. Uh, the intent here was to use um, this curve, this provided, excuse me, um, this provided uh, spreadsheet. I'm not sure why I didn't provide it for this one. Like I say, I looked at the, looking at the, everything that we present to you, we never did a logarithm, so I'm not going to hold you to it. And... Maybe later. Um, hope this helped. Hope this wasn't too long of a video. Uh, eight, 19 minutes. Longer than I expected. However, this, granted, the last eight minutes was doing the second problem. So, good luck.